This video describes linear transformations of the complex plane. A linear transformation of the complex plane is a function of the following form. It's just a times z for some complex A. So the question is, what does this do to points in the plane? Well, I think if you write A in polar coordinates, you'll just see what happens. So let's say that A is r e to the i theta, and z will say it is capital R e to the i phi, then, well, writing it out should be no problem. And we can regroup. And see that there are two effects. Effect one is a scaling or a dilation by little r, and also a rotation by theta. Little r is the magnitude of A, and little theta is the argument of A. So in essence, if this makes sense, then you're done. That's what a linear transformation does. If you write it out in rectangular coordinates rather than polar coordinates, then a little bit of linear algebra comes into play. Let's see how that works. Let's write A as C plus DI. Let's write Z as X plus IY. Then the product looks like, well, just the usual distribution rule. Of course, remember, i squared is negative 1. So that's the real part. Here's the imaginary part. It's good to think about this in terms of a vector, a two-dimensional vector in the reals. In which case, think of z as a column vector. Because then, w is going to be cx minus dy in the first component, and dx plus cy in the second component. That's a a matrix multiplication. So that that is what the linear transformation is. It really is just a matrix multiplication of a very particular kind. You could think of this as that complex A as being a special 2 by 2 matrix in R. In particular, what kind of 2 by 2 matrix? Well, it's not symmetric. It's skew symmetric, which is to say 
And it's not that a is equal to a transpose, but rather negative a is equal to a transpose. Why is that? Oh, because that, that's, that's the effect of this minus sign right here. That minus sign is that minus sign. So linear transformations, as in multiplication by a complex number, transform the complex plane by scaling and dilation and a rotation, both together. Or you could think of them as multiplication by a skew symmetric matrix.